Hi, this is Lisa from SavingScentbyScent.com. Today I'm going to share with you some daily habits you can do to keep your house clean. Now, I really enjoy having a clean house. I try to, as much as possible, keep it clean every day. I get my kids to help me out to keep it clean. Um, I feel like when it's clean, I can function better. I feel better about myself and about what's going on during the day. And I feel like I'm just more productive when my house stays clean. So I'm going to give you seven things you can do to keep your house clean every day. The first tip is to make your bed every day. I know this sounds like such a simple and little thing, but when you make your bed, it just starts the day off right. And also your room looks cleaner just by doing this simple thing that just takes a minute to do. And then I also make sure that my kids make their bed every day also. Tip number two is to never leave a room empty handed. Anytime that you're gonna leave a room, take something with you and put it away. I like to go by the one touch rule. That means when you touch it and pick it up, that you don't put it down somewhere else again. You take it and you put it in the spot that you wanted it to go. Instead of going room to room and putting it down each time that you go into room, just pick it up and then just take a few seconds more and put it away. So anytime, like when I go um, to my kid's room, I'll usually take something from the front living room or the kitchen and I'll go and I'll put it in the, their room. And same with if I have to run downstairs to go get something, I will take something that needs to go downstairs and I'll go and, and put it away. So it just takes a few extra seconds, but it helps to keep things a little bit more clean. If you saw my other video on how to speed clean the front room and living room, uh, one of the tips I gave was to get a laundry basket. And so sometimes if there's a bunch of stuff in the front room, and I know that I'm going to need to go downstairs or into the kids' room, I'll grab my laundry basket and I'll just hurry and throw in those five or six things and then I'll take it and put it away right then. And that helps to um, definitely keep the house clean. And I'll link below to the video on tips to speed clean the front room and kitchen. So I actually just did a quick pickup of my front living room. My kids are at school and one of my, my little boy is down for a nap. And so um, I just quickly picked up a few items and I went ahead and I put them in this laundry basket. And now um, the next time I go downstairs, I'm gonna take that with me and unload it and put the things in places that they're supposed to go. So that's one quick tip to um, keep things a little bit more organized. Tip number three is to, when you take it out, put it away. So for instance, if you come home and you take your jacket off, don't just put it on the floor or on the couch. Take 30 more seconds and hang it up. Or when you take off your shoes, take 30 seconds and go put it onto the shoe shelf rather than just putting it by the, the entry. Or after you change your clothes, rather than leaving them on the floor, uh, take 30 more seconds and hang them up if they're not really dirty or put them in the hamper. Also, like if there's a few dishes, rather than leaving them on the counter or in the sink, take 30 seconds to a minute and put them into the dishwasher and that will just save you a few extra minutes of having to clean. It's taking just another 30 seconds to put something in its place and that will save you time from having to go back through later on that day to pick up things and to clean things up. Tip number four is to deal with the mail, school papers, or paper every single day. When you get the mail and come inside the house, don't just leave it on the counter. Sort through it. I have a shredder and so I'll go and shred those items that junk, the junk mail that needs to be shredded. Um, if there's some other papers that I want to keep, I'll put those in our little bin that's designated for those papers. For bills, I'll go ahead and put that in the tray that's specifically for our bills. So take care of the mail every day. I don't know about you, but my kids come home with school papers every single day. So the way that I take care of it is um, I let the kids tell about their day and show us all of their papers. And then I put it in a designated spot, which I'm going to show you in just a second, where I'm not throwing it out right away. So in case they want to look back at it over the next couple days, they can. But then after a little while, then I'll go through and throw them away. Now, it's hard to throw away kids' school items sometimes. So for those things that you want to keep, you could put it in a bin, like in the basement, for those special things that you want to keep. Or... You could take a picture of it and save it that way rather than just collecting all these papers. So let me show you kind of what I do 
with all those school papers and the papers that I get. So now um, when my kids come home from school and they after they tell us about all their papers that they got, then I'll go ahead and I'll stick it into this filing bin here, along with other papers. Like if there's a few newspapers, um, the ads that I want to keep for, for the week, I'll put them right here. And then after the week, I'll throw them out. I try to make sure to keep this clean and organized so that way it doesn't get overflowing. So this is kind of what we do with all of our extra papers. I do make sure to keep things um, decluttered and off the counters. So through the day there are items that end up like on our counter and by the end of the day though I make sure to clean off the counters and put the papers where I need them to go. Tip number five is to do a little something every day. So prioritize two or three items that you want to get done that day and just focus on those things. That could be folding a load of laundry or organizing something in a room or um, cleaning an area in your house. So just focus on a few things a day. Don't overwhelm yourself with too many things. Also, what really helps is if you just set a timer for 15, 20 minutes and get as much done as you can on the task that you wanted to complete. You will be amazed at what you can accomplish in 15 to 20 minutes. Tip number six is to wash the dishes daily, unload the dishwasher, and wipe down your kitchen sink. For me, I spend a lot of time in the kitchen preparing food, cleaning up after food, and I get frustrated, frustrated if there's not enough room on the counters or if the dishes are piled in the sink. And so if you just do it regularly and try to make sure, especially by the end of the day, that the dishes are done, um, they're loaded in the dishwasher, the dishwasher's been unloaded, and, and just quickly wipe down the, the sink. It makes a huge difference waking up in the morning and having that done. And that's one less thing that you have to start your day out doing. So for our family, a different child gets to unload the dishwasher each day. And even my three-year-old helps to unload the dishwasher. Yes, I have to help them put away some of the stuff that goes up high, but for the most part, they're in charge of unloading the dishwasher. And then at night, everyone in our family has a chore to do after dinner. Um, someone washes, the, washes and loads the dishes. Another person picks up the table. Another one wipes the table. Someone sweeps the floor. And the other one is someone sets the table for dinner. And so everyone has to get their kitchen chore done every single night before we do any other fun activity as a family. And it's worked really well because it's less work for me with everyone pitching in and helping out. And it goes a lot faster. And at night I might do a really quick touch up and get a few extra dishes loaded in the dishwasher, but overall it helps things to run more smoothly. And the last tip, tip number seven, is before bed, do a quick 15 minute pickup. And this includes having your family help out to quickly just run through the living room or some items in their bedrooms and pick up those things and put them away. Also, make sure to clean the counters, um, put those papers away, just do a quick 15 minute, get everything kind of organized and, and put away. And so that way, the next day, when you get started for the day, you'll be ready to go and you won't feel so overwhelmed because a lot of things were left undone. So those are my seven things to keep your house clean every single day. Let me know what cleaning and organizational tips you have. Please share them below in the comments. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.